Hey guys, it's Leah. So today I'm going to be filming a September favourites and I'm also going to be filming a small haul. So as there's only been a few things I've been loving this month, I thought I would show you some of the things that I picked up today while shopping. So I'm pretty much just going to get started, but I just wanted to ask you guys if you like this background. It's new and I've never sat here before, but I think it's pretty cute. So if you like it, let me know down below. But without further ado, I'm going to get started with my September favourites first. So I'm basically just going to be showing you some makeup favourites. That's pretty much all I've been liking. I have a few scents, but that's pretty much it. So first of all, I have the Sleek Cream Contour Kit. This is about £10, so it's a little bit pricey, but to be honest, you get quite a lot for your money. You get three highlight shades and three contour shades. So I've actually hit pan on this, which shows that you don't really get very much product in it. However, they're really, really creamy and blendable. You can either use a brush or like a sponge to blend these in, and they're really nice. I actually have to use the lighter shade and the darker shade because the other ones kind of don't really do anything other than just blend into my skin. They don't really, it's like they're not dark enough to contour and not light enough to highlight but the yellow one and the darkest brown are really really good and this is in the shade light if you're wondering to go along with that i have been loving the mac prep and prime fix plus so i have the 100 mils this is really really good i get quite a few questions about what this is actually used for um because it is pretty pricey i think it's about 17 pounds so when i use this i'm generally using it for either eyeshadow or to help blend in any cream products so when I use it for eyeshadow, I just spray it on my brush and it will really intensify the eyeshadow, pick up a lot more, make it really creamy, almost like sort of a gel eyeshadow and it just makes it so much more pigmented and more smooth on the eye. So it works really, really well for that. And also, say if you're using something like this or if you're using a concealer, then you just spray this on your face or on brushes and sponges and it will blend everything in a little bit more smoothly and a little bit softer. So this is really, really worth it and I've been loving this this month. It just makes everything blend better and be more pigmented. So for a foundation I've been loving this month, it is the L'Oreal Nude Magic Cushion. Mine is in the shade 4 and the main reason I have been loving this is because it's so pretty on the skin. It's really dewy and glowy but it also has a really, really nice buildable coverage. So this comes with a mirror at the top and then it also has one of these little sponges um, because the actual product is kind of in a sponge the foundation is in here and you just bounce this in here and tap it onto your face however i don't really like this too much i generally just stick in my real technique sponge or a brush or just put my finger in then put it on my face but this is so pretty it really really is really really dewy and glowy but it's so gorgeous on the skin and gives you a pretty nice coverage it's not too full but it's definitely buildable and i think it's so nice however a little bit more pricey next i have an eye product this is the maybelline color tattoo in the shade creamy beige i have this on stay underneath other eyeshadow and this is basically a really really pigmented sort of eyeshadow base so if I swatch this for you guys here is what it looks like it's very creamy and smooth and it just goes on the eyes like butter this actually looks like a really, really cool toned shade, but it's perfect for kind of the autumny, wintry months because when you put this on and you kind of blend it out, it actually goes a little bit more warm and orangey toned, which I think looks really, really pretty when you blend it out in the crease. I have it on today, as I said. It looks so pretty and it helps any eyeshadow go on, stick to it and last a lot better. So I really, really recommend these. I also have pink gold, but I've been loving this one at the moment and these are about five pounds. Then lastly, for makeup, I have three lip products. First of all, I have like an overall favourite. I love this so much and I've been loving it for months now. I mentioned it in a few favourites. Um, but this is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Can. I just think it's the absolute perfect autumn-y kind of deep nude. Actually, it's not really nude at all. Here is the shade. It's kind of like a deep pinky ready sort of nude. I don't really know. The main reason why I see this as sort of a nude is because it's a similar shade to my actual lip colour. So it just intensifies it, makes it a little bit deeper and it looks really matte and pretty. They're really smooth and I really, really like these. They're not too drying either. From Maybelline, I've been loving their Colour Drama Intense Velvet Lip Crayon in the shade 630. This is a really, really nice nude. This is a more warm toned, um, orangey sort of nude colour. This is really long lasting and it's almost like a matte satin finish. It's really not glossy at all, but it's so pigmented and this is very cheap. I think it's about £5. I really, really do like this though and you can just put it on and not have to worry about it smudging or moving or wearing off because it just lasts really, really well. And then the final makeup product is this Essence Liquid Lipstick in the shade 6 Make a Statement. So these are about £3 and I really like the applicators on these. They're sort of point, they're like flat on each side and they pick up a lot of product. They're very, very pigmented and glossy. These are not matte liquid lipsticks as you usually expect. It's a very, very highly pigmented, 
glossy, 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 glossy colour. These are so good though for the price and they look really nice. They're definitely not too sticky because they're so thick and pigmented. They look like they'd be really sticky on the lips. But they're actually not at all. So I really recommend these and they have quite a few shades. I think this is the deepest one and it's not even that bad. So... I really recommend you go and check these out and maybe pick one up. Okay, and then lastly, I have two scents. These are both from Bath & Body Works. So first of all, I have the Pink Chiffon Fine Fragrance Mist. So this has gorgeous, really, really pretty packaging. It looks amazing on display, especially in my room because it's kind of themed around pastel pink and blue, which is what this is. This is really, really big and it just smells so good. It has a really, really sweet floral scent. It sprays really nicely from here, which is kind of weird, but it kind of adds to how good it is. It's really long lasting, and I've used this like pretty much every day for about two weeks, and there's hardly any gone. So I really highly recommend this, and it's just a really, really easy scent to wear, and I just, I just think it's really pretty. And then the final favourite is actually this candle here. So this is also from Bath & Body Works, and this is the Pumpkin Pecan Waffles Scented Candle. This is Three Wick, and it's from their Autumn Winter range. It has really amazing packaging. I love it so much, especially the lid. It's like a copper dented sort of lid. And I haven't actually burnt this yet, and the main reason for that is... It's so strong. My room already smells of it really intensely. The first thing you notice when you walk in is the scent of this candle. I can't really describe it, however the sticker on the bottom can. This is meant to smell like maple syrup, golden waffles, pumpkin spice and brown sugar. Which sounds like amazing and so automate and it definitely, definitely is. I really, really like this. You really do get like a lot of different hints when you smell it. So one time you smell it and it will smell quite spicy. Then it will smell kind of like cupcakes and sweetness. But it smells so good and I cannot wait to actually burn this. Okay, so they are all my favourites. I'm now going to move on to showing you a few things that I picked up today. I really didn't get very much, but I knew that this wasn't going to be a very long video. So I thought I'd show you guys at the end of this. So first of all, I picked up two essential makeup products. So I had these a really, really, really long time ago when I was about 12. And then I never repurchased because I just wanted to adventure and try new products. But I got a new Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer and I went for the shade Fair One which probably isn't right but the second shade was really really orange. So I thought I'd go for this and I'm actually going on holiday in like a few weeks which is probably a bad choice to go for the lightest one because I'll probably tan pretty quickly. But I really wanted to try it again and this was this was actually £4.19 but he charged me £3.99 so thanks guys Superdrug. But yeah, I cannot wait to start trying this again. I'll definitely get back to you if I love it as much as I used to because I've been using really, really different concealers. For example, I've been using the Essence Stay Natural, which is one of the kind of twisty ones with the little brushes. I've been using one from Makeup Forever, which is this one. It's the HD High Definition Concealer. And it has this like rubber tip. It's really, really strange. The product comes out of this hole. <gasps> Oh my gosh, it's so nearly finished. This cost me eight pounds. I got it from TK Maxx, like eight pounds is really, really good for makeup forever, but it was from TK Maxx and it's nearly gone. But that is why I needed a new concealer because I've also like finished my other ones. I basically had none. So hopefully this match is okay and I get along with it fine. And then I just got a Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in the shade 001 Transparent. The scent of this brings me back to when I first started with makeup. Because I remember I bought this because I thought it was meant to be like a foundation. And I was putting it all over my face, like packing loads on. And I was like, where's the coverage? Why isn't this working? But that's because it was just powder. But I didn't know where then. Um, but since then, I haven't repurchased it. Because I was just thinking it was rubbish because it didn't do what I thought it was going to. But that's not the case. So I'm looking forward to trying this again. And hopefully it will be as good as my other ones which are all really cheap. I always go for cheap powders, but I can't wait to try it again. Okay, the next thing I love, I'm really, really excited I got them. These are from Tiger and they were two pounds. They are basically these little sparkly pumpkin decorations for this month because October is like the best month ever. So much stuff is happening this month. Obviously it's really autumn -y. There's Halloween, I'm getting braces, I'm going on holiday, and it's just the whole autumn vibe. So I'm really excited that I've got these. I wanna put them over my room. I only have like four places to put them. I have my dressing table, a shelf, some more shelves, and these, so yeah. Lastly, moving on to Primark, I picked up these pajamas and they say sweet dreams and they have a little sausage dog because some of you will probably know I actually have a sausage dog, his name is Rolo. Um, and these just reminded me of him and they also have these um, spotty trousers. Um, these are pretty big, they're size 10 to 12, but I just couldn't resist because I couldn't find a smaller size. 
and I mean big pajamas are gonna be cozy so I'm glad I got these they're really cute look oh they're so cute and finally I just picked up these Primark wipes I always get these I really really like these these are a favorite actually these are the Argan facial cleansing wipes they're a pound for two packs and I just use them to clean off swatches and things like that and sometimes I will use them on my skin um, and follow with a cleanser but I really like these and they were only a pound. So that is everything for today's video. I really, really do hope that you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know what you think about this background and I will see you guys very, very soon in another video. Bye.